This is a tutorial on how to make your first inventor part. You can either click on File, New, or you can just click on this and click on Part. This will open an IPT part. All right, and so then you click on Start Sketch, the 2D sketch. These are work planes, so you just pick one work plane. I'm gonna pick the XY. And it should look like this. You may have some different lines in here depending on uh, what's been set up with Inventor. So now, real easy, I'm gonna click in re Rectangle. I come down here, I'm gonna start the origin. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to. I click once, I left click once, then I move my mouse over here, okay? Now I can uh, type my dimensions in right now. I'm just gonna make, uh, so I'm gonna type in 0.75. I can hit the Tab key and it'll go to the other one, 0.75, hit enter, and now I have, I click this, and now I have a square that's three quarter inch on each side. I click finish sketch, I click extrude. Okay, now the default's one inch, which I don't want. I'm just gonna do a single piece here. So I'm gonna make this one, because I'm gonna be making the T shape, I'm gonna make it three blocks long which is 2.25 inches, three times 0.75. You can actually do three times 0.75, and it'll do the exact same thing. If you're not sure, if, you, if your multiplication skills aren't good, you can do that. And now I have that. So now I have, this is my the little house up here, puts it automatically into isometric. I can click on this, I hold my right key down, I can rotate this, to get the different surfaces. I can, uh, I'm gonna go back to the home view. I can also hold down my, I can roll my scroll wheel and it'll zoom in and out. Even if it goes all the way out, if I can't find it, I can always click the house. It zooms it back in. I can hold down the scroll wheel and I can move it around by holding down the scroll wheel. Okay, put it back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a real short one here because I'm gonna do, put the T up here in the top. So I start another sketch. You have to have a sketch in order to extrude. And then you have to click on a surface. So I'm gonna put a square on the top of this. I'm going to rotate it around so that I can look at it from this angle. I click rectangle. You'll see that it kind of snaps to the line, which is good. I'm gonna go here and it'll snap to the other line. 0.75 because I went from side to side. I don't even have to worry about dimensioning it. I'm going to just hit enter and, oh, it didn't take it. I'm gonna do that again, okay? Go from here to here, and I just left clicked again instead of enter. And so now I have this, but it's not the right size. So now I'm gonna use my dimension. That's why I didn't dimension it, because I want you to be able to see what this looks like. I click the dimension. I can click, I could, I could click that line. I'm gonna click this one and this one and come up here and make that 0.75. Okay, so now that's right. Does it look right to you? It doesn't look right to me, it's off center. I have to have another dimension. I have to have a dimension from this line to this line, come up here, 0.75, hit enter. Okay, now it's centered. So now I can finish my sketch. It'll put it back in isometric view. I click extrude. Now, nothing popped up because I could have picked any, I could, there's, it doesn't, I have to click the thing I want to extrude. So I'm gonna click that. I don't wanna do three times 0.75, I wanna just 0.75. I click okay, put in isometric, and there's my T. So those are pretty much all the rules you need to know. And then now you can come up here and you can, uh, these different ones, there's different kinds of colors here. So I can make it uh, magenta. And then I would save that. And I would save it as, or maybe that's like supposed to be pink. Pink. So I do it like that. I don't really need to save it, so I'll just put it on my desktop for now. You want to save this into a folder where you know where it is so you can find it. I save it. Name changes down here. Now I can go back to my home or go to file. 
and I can click a new part and start over again. My other piece is always here. Make sure you save it. And that's basically how you make the puzzle pieces. You make all five.